everyone, Nicholson here, and welcome back to Coming Soon Movie News with Nicholson. I'm now on to part four of the Warner Brothers Comic-Con panel recap for San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, this one, we're going to be talking about King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Now, this is Guy Ritchie's next film, starring Charlie Hunnam and Jude Law. Charlie Hunnam plays the, the titular character, Arthur. Um, curious is how I would use to describe this trailer. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm intrigued. I guess would be the right word to use. Intrigued. Um, I don't know. I, I I was thinking it was going to be different. This when you watch the film, especially after like maybe twenty five seconds into the trailer, you're thinking to yourself, "Wow, this is a Guy Ritchie movie," um, and it's it's weird. I don't I don't know how to describe it because I did like it, but. Part of me is there's an alarm going off in my head that's saying, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. And I hope that's not the case. But this movie feels like it's two films in one. I mean, the entire opening act of the trailer is selling this almost campy, over-the-top, light-hearted type of movie about a thief and his friends. Um, and then it's revealed that, oh, he's the he's Arthur. You know, there there is a storyline that you have not been known about or not been told about. And... I mean, that might be cool to see. And then you see him pull the sword from the stone, and then we get a couple of magic shots, and then we see Jude Law hamming it up as the villain, which I I think that Jude Law may have been miscast, although we haven't really seen all that much from him. Um, I am curious because there's a lot of magic in this trailer, and none of the magic is ever even hinted at in the dialogue or in the character interactions. So I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I am curious. I did hear that this movie had um, some test screenings earlier in the year because originally it was supposed to come out in July um, it had some test screenings and the test screenings didn't go very well and that makes me a little nervous because Guy Ritchie hasn't really made a hit in a while at least in terms of quality Sherlock Holmes was great Sherlock Holmes 2 I personally enjoyed but it was a lesser film than the first um, I'd have to watch um, Man from Uncle again I watched it once I thought it was okay Alicia Vikander was the standout in that movie but to me I don't know. It just it felt there. That's the feeling that I get from this trailer. It's 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 there, and that's it. I'm not like, oh, this looks great, or oh, that looks terrible. It's just, yeah, it's yeah, you know, cool. I I don't know how else to feel about it. I I mean, there are some like I said, there's some intriguing aspects of it. You get you get I mean, magic. You have these weird people like turning into fire and blowing up. You have this giant elephant thing. Um, it, it's. There's pro. I hope it's good. I I'm so perplexed by this movie. I don't know. Like this trailer. Check it out in the. You can click the link in the description of this video if you haven't watched it yet. I'm just. I'm confused by it. I think it's going to be cool. It's radically different. That's I think the part that that is really that's getting me is that it is radically different. This is a wholly new take on the King Arthur storyline, and I think we just need to see more. Um, I am curious though. I'm I'm willing to give this movie the benefit of the doubt, but. There's a little voice in my head that's saying, uh, this might not be the greatest. Um, so who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But I mean, you know, there's the scene at the beginning when they're all running, the cameras attached to them. I mean, it, it, it didn't feel right for the time frame that the movie was set in, if that makes any sense. It may just be the filmmaker side of me that, that's seeing this and, and that has an issue with it. Um, but let me know what you guys think in, in the comment section about this trailer. Do you think it just looks god awful? Do you think it, you know, might be a guilty pleasure? Do you think that this trailer just isn't selling the movie very well, but that the movie might be very good? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, and then again, like I said, Marvel is going to be having their panel later on tonight, so I'm going to be covering that. Um, so hopefully that, like, ho hopefully there's actually some reveals because it's going to be a big disappointment if Marvel comes there. And just doesn't really do anything. Because uh, they weren't there last year. And DC and Warner Brothers knocked it out of the park this morning. Like, holy crap. That was an insane panel. The, I, I'm just so shocked that they revealed all this footage online for everybody to see. That, to me, is just what's surprising. I, I, I want to have been there in Hall H. I mean, it is. there's a heat wave going on right now, so the smell wouldn't have been very good. But being in Hall H to feel that energy with that footage, that would have been incredible. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, do you think this looks good? Do you think it looks bad? Do you think it looks meh? 
Um, or are you kind of curious, like I am, to see a little bit more about this movie? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, if we hear more information about this topic, I will definitely update you guys on here. Well, that'll about do it for us here on Coming Soon Movie News with Nicholson. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have been a great audience. Go ahead and click that subscribe button there in the bottom corner. You get updates whenever a new video is posted. You can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Nicholson, N-I-K-L-S-U-N, for all of your movie updates. And also like our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash movie news with Nicholson. If you ever have a topic or question like I've talked about on the show, go ahead and email me at moviewnewswithnicholson at gmail.com or put a comment in the comment section. But until next time, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.